Welcome back inside Arizona Daily Mix. Real estate is a buzz here in the Valley. A lot of people move here from different places around the country because we have beautiful weather and great places to live. And here to talk about the market, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, Lisa westcott Wadey. She is um, a local real estate professional here in the Valley. So nice to have you on Arizona Daily Mix. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk about the real estate you know, market here. A lot of people love to move to the Valley. Sometimes they don't know what they're getting themselves into with <laughs> our weather and conditions. But how is the market right now? Is it a good time for buyers or sellers? I think it's a good time for both. We're okay. in a very balanced, uh, very normal market, in my, in my opinion. Uh, sellers are not desperate by any means. Mm -hmm. They don't have to give anything away, and buyers are certainly not emotional. Okay. And they're very, very smart about their decisions, and they take their time. They, they want what they want, and they're mm -hmm. not going to settle. So it's a very normal, it, 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 it's forcing the real estate professionals to really do their job. Okay, kind of hone in on mm -hmm. the specific buyer and mm -hmm. specific seller. Correct. Let's talk about the um, type of people that are actually buying right now. Is it millennials or are we looking at people who already own homes looking for a second and third home? You, you know, it's definitely not the millennials. Okay. Um, millennials, we're finding for the most, is they really don't want home ownership responsibility right now. They're, really? Yeah, they're more wow. inter interested in the urban lifestyle, being able to come and go as they please. They don't really, I, I don't know that it's a lack of commitment, mm -hmm. um, but it's just, I think it's the responsibility of. And, yeah. and the, you know, they're a little nervous going into it. It's a, it's a huge decision, it's a huge investment. And right. so. What part of the valley right now is the hot spot, or is it pretty much anywhere in the valley? You know, the East Valley is, is very busy right now, um, and it's all price ranges. Mm -hmm. So it could be that, you know, the luxury market is, um, it used to be that come April, you know, the, the April through October was completely quiet, nothing going on. And oh, that's really? changed. Okay. That's changed. You know, we, Arizona is not just a destination snowbird state anymore. Mm -hmm. It's, it's full-time residents. I mean, right. a lot of people, you know, when we had our downturn in 2008 and 9, a lot of people reduced their their real estate portfolio and got rid of a lot of the homes in different states or different right. areas and focused on Arizona and just travel in the summertime. Now you say the East Valley is a good part right now so we're looking at Chandler, Tempe, Gilbert, Mesa, okay. You look at all of the corporate relocation company you know the companies that are moving in right and you know their executives and and uh, administration and those folks mm -hmm. you know and, and a lot of that is in the East Valley. All right, because we see a lot of like um, tech businesses that are moving here. So you move the tech business in, obviously you got to start building more subdivisions. Exactly. So that's where the buzz is over in the East Valley. It is. What are the price ranges that we're starting to see? Because before there was this period where it was like under 200000 and then it was 200000 to two fifty, but it was mostly yeah. in the West Valley. Are we still seeing that in the market? You know, so it's, it's definitely the price has gone up okay. um, because obviously the demand has. So we're, you know, anything under 500000 is right. is a pretty quick sell. Mm -hmm. If it's priced right and the location is right, um, even in the luxury market, there's a lot of activity, especially May, June, August, and September. Those are really our busiest months. Now, you've been doing real estate for a while, and you understand, you know, your customer and the consumer when they're coming in to buy a home, and it is an emotional time for a lot of people. A lot of people, because there's so many resources, like with Zillow and different things, would you advise someone to go that way, or would you advise them to stick with a professional real estate agent? You know, 90, I'd say 98% of, of all buyers are looking online first, so okay. they use your your traditional Zillow, Trulia, mm -hmm. that type of thing. However, a lot of times those websites aren't as accurate as the information that a real estate professional okay. locally can do for you. Um, you know, we have systems that show us real time where mm -hmm. Trulia and Zillow, they're not necessarily real time. So right. so I would, I would say yes, absolutely start your research there. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to start, but really rely on your real estate professional to do the due diligence for you and share with you the knowledge that they have. And we have about 30 seconds, so I know you have great advice and information, especially for first-time people looking to buy a home. Mm -hmm. What are something that you would like to tell them? If it's a first-time home buyer, definitely do your research. Make sure that you have a real estate professional that you can trust that has been in the business or at least has a good reputation. Um, check in with the local associations, Scottsdale Area Association of Realtors, etc., okay. um, Arizona Association of Realtors, and, and just do, do your homework. Do your homework. Lisa, you were fantastic. Thanks for joining us here Thanks on Arizona me. Daily Mix. You want information, we'll have a link for sure on our website, aztv.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll have more when we get back.